What's up you guys, my name is Hudge, and I make videos, put them on the internet. And today I got some footage for you from the Dark Dark Below expansion. Expansion 1 for Destiny. This gameplay was recorded in Las Vegas, I got invited out to the uh, PlayStation Experience. Uh, and I recorded this like, what, what, what day is it? What fucking day is it? It's Saturday. This is a week ago today is when I recorded this. And uh, the expansion came out shortly after. Actually, I had like a guest come like the day after I got back from Vegas. So I was a little tied up with stuff like that. And then the actual expansion came out. So I didn't get to like post this video right away. But I wanted to show you guys some gameplay footage with, with No Land Beyond. It's the uh, bolt action sniper. And this is with nothing upgraded and it blows. That's pretty much the point of this video right now is to let you know that this gun kind of sucks. At the moment, it has a um, it has an upgrade feature later on that allows you to reload faster, and I have no idea if that affects the actual pumping around into the chamber. But right now, it's just too slow. There's like way too much sway on it. Apparently, they've been taking notes from uh, from the people over at Advanced Warfare, on, like how to properly ner nerf sniping in this game. Maybe Activision got them in the same room and said, "Hey, let's make sniping suck in both games." And both developers were like, "Totally, let's do that." And that's what happened here? I'm not sure. I can't be sure. There's no confirmation on that. That's all speculation. It's obviously a joke. In any case, this, this gun is really not that great, so in case you were looking forward to getting it, and then it pops up when you turn a purple Engram in to Raul, and you see the No Land Beyond pop up, you're like, sweet, I'm going to be awesome. I got the bolt-action sniper. Just know right away it's not that great. I'm still going to probably hang on to it if I get it in case they buff it later on. But uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is a PlayStation exclusive strike that I got to capture called the Undying Mind, and it is fucking fun. Unlike any other strike that I played in the game so far, just constant, constant, constant wave of ultras. I can't imagine the amount of glimmer that's going to be accumulated. Unfortunately, we on Xbox One aren't going to get this strike until fall of 2015, but it is something to look forward to. So uh, uh, the expansion so far is awesome. Kratos, or Crota's End is awesome. The single player stuff is awesome, the, the voice acting is a lot better than the first one. So uh, my opinion on this expansion so far is that it's totally worth the 20 bucks. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have yourself a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you later. Bye!